guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is Tattoos Day and it's my second Tattoos Day. So after my first episode, a lot of you guys wanted me to talk about my chest. So this is my chest tattoo, don't know that's nipple. My chest ended up actually being one of the longest tattoos to do, both tattooing and just tattoo journey. Because under this I have two tattoos. Under here I had a Slipknot S which I got tattooed when I was like 16. Not because it was like on my heart or anything, I just wanted a chest tattoo and I was like, huh, I'm gonna get it there. About a year after getting that done, because it was just an outline, I decided that I wanted more of a, a more of a tattoo rather than just a, a tattoo more of an artistic piece. I say that, you're probably thinking, she wanted something artistic, she went straight and got this, she did not go straight and get this, for some reason! I decided to cover my Slipknot S, but a tiny, tiny outline of Slipknot S, which would have been so easy to cover. I decided to cover it with this. I don't, I don't even know what I was thinking. In my brain, it was these beautiful timber and arrow things, and they had these spirally bits up here, and they just went down. The ends of the arrows are just behind the fox. The spiky winged black beastie bits were just behind all these flowers. It took me a few years to actually come to my senses and be like, what the frack is this on my chest? And I knew at that point it had gone too far. I could not have those covered. I would have to have those lasered. <gasps> If I had just been smart at the beginning, I could have just got that lasered or I could have just got that covered with something so beautiful. It was literally an outline. I was just young and stupid. So the arrow things I got done at a really, really crap tattooist who tattooed me very underage. That's both my fault as well as his. You should, I shouldn't have gone to tattooist underage. Yeah, I did not get them done at the same time. I think, I don't think I've ever mentioned that in a video. I had them done actually like a few months apart. So I had this one done first to cover up the Slipknot S and then the second one was just flipped and it was done a few months later. They were actually like quite wonky, but you couldn't tell they were wonky until I had my butterfly done, which was put like slap bang in the middle and then it was like, oh, they are really, really freaking wonky. <laughs> That's kind of the main reason why I decided to then get that sorted out because my butterfly was like something really pretty and something done properly. And the contrast of that with these awful spiky things was just, no, <laughs> it, was, it was a no. So when I eventually decided to get these sorted out, I had kind of gone past an easier option and the only thing left was to either black out my whole chest or get it lasered. And unfortunately I had to go down the laser route. I've had laser on a few tattoos and my fucking god it hurts. So I ended up actually going to my tattooist to get it removed, they no longer do tattoo removal. And it was £80 a session and it took me... I want to say eight sessions, I think it was more, maybe eight, nine, to get it light enough, light enough, to be covered. Like, that wasn't even removed. All through the process of getting it removed, it was every six weeks I was having laser. So when it was coming to the end of, like, when it was getting light enough, I decided that I wanted to get something meaningful. Not too meaningful, like not like a band or a film or something. I wanted something that deep within me I love, something I was never ever going to not love. And the first thing I thought of that I love more than anything, aside from films of my daughter, is animals. I am a humongous animal lover. We have a little farm at my house, I have six ferrets, three rats. I really, really, really want some chickens. I sat down and I took reference pictures from Google and DeviantArt and loads of random pictures, kind of like a, a mood board, and I sent them all to my tattooist and she designed this piece for me. Foxes were very much on my brain, they're not necessarily my favourite animal, ferrets are my favourite animal. And dogs, I'm a massive dog person, okay? If you have a dog, we'll be best friends. When I was finding reference pictures for this, fox hunting ban was massive on the news. So then we went to London for a gig. We drove past uh, a massive park, and this was really late at night, and we saw a fox. We saw it just, just running a little log in the middle of London, a fox. And I was like, that's it, that's my sign, that I need a fox on my boobies, I need a motorboating fox. And, and that was it, and then I had to I had to have a fox. So the black tattoos that I had lasered are all under this. Um, so she put the stencil on on the day, and then we added bits, and we took bits away. Um, I specifically did not want it symmetrical, so you can see that it, it, I wanted it similar. 
and I know you're going to look at it and go, well, mm, Emily, that's symmetrical. It's not. <laughs> um, so there is, there is like, there is a bumblebee here where there is a violet here. There is, well, there's a violet up here and there's just leaves here and there's a butterfly. Um, they're similar, but they're not completely symmetrical. And these bits come down uh, further than this side, um, which looks very nice when I have my top off, if I do say so myself. It took two day sessions in total, 12 and a half hours. My longest session before this was about three hours. I'm a, I can't do tattoo pain. And I did not numb this. This was all raw, baby. Luckily my tattooist has films playing while people get tattooed. So I got to watch Mean Girls and I got to watch loads of like cool teen films, which I freaking love. Overall, I am so, happy with what I have. This is so me. I love flowers, I love nature, violets, uh, violet is what my door is called, bumblebees. I love bumblebees. <gasps> but this is it. I'm not planning to add anything to this. I think that's it. I think that's everything. So the whole thing was done by Kay at Freedom Tattoos. I'll put her Instagram below. I think that is my tattoos day off my chest tattoo. <sighs> what tattoo shall I do next? I'm thinking a leg one because I've done I've done a finger and I've done a chest. Maybe we'll we'll do a leg one. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my second tattoos day. I really love to do these. This I mean, it's only my second one, but it's so nice to sit down and just chat to you guys about my stories. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in a few days with another video, and then next week for your third installment of Tattoos Day. Much love, boobies. Take care of yourself, and most of all, stay weird.